All right, so I came here to play the Intellivision Amico at the Crayola factory in Easton, Pennsylvania. So we got Frank and Jeff here. Come closer to the camera. What you? What were your thoughts first on this Amico? We played it. We played two games on here. It's a fun. It's like a fun family console. It's very intuitive. There's no lag. Uh, the graphics aren't bad. I mean, it was fine. It's not going to be a Series X or a PS5, but it does the job for a family or you know someone who has kids, whatever. It's just a fun little arcadey type family console. That's all. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, I like the spaceship game the, the, the most. Astro uh, Smash. Yeah, I mean, because it actually kind of reminded me of Space Invaders a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just like a fun game. It's easy. You can pick it up and play. And, I mean, there was even a button where you could go into, like, warp speed or something like that. So, you know, it's just a fun little game. It's not going to compete with the big guys, but, you know, it's just something that, that people can pick up and play with the family. Yeah. So overall, what'd you guys think? If you could give it a number today, what would you give it? For An what, honest number. For what it is, not comparing it to anything else, I'd say like a solid like seven or eight. I mean, it's a decent little. Yeah, it's seat. like a solid eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not comparing it to Xbox and stuff. I'm just saying like, on its own. Yeah, it's a solid thing. All right. Yeah. All right, we're gonna show more footage of this, so stay tuned, everybody. Okay, so what are your final impressions of the Amico? Because I don't know if anybody heard you before. We recorded while we were there at the Crayola factory, and I don't know how that's going to come out. So just in case, let's just do this one last time, as far as getting your thoughts. Um, it was a nice console for, like, families. Like, it's perfect to pick up and play. Graphics are fine. There's no lag. It's very intuitive with the dial. Um, we didn't see any big, like, problems with it. It was running fine, the games that we played. Um... Tommy was really nice too. He was like totally accessible. He's like a normal person, um, which was cool. He was showing us how to play it. I'd say like if you have a family or you just want like a little pick up and play console, it's fine. Um, like Perry was saying, it's almost like a board game that you just break out every now and then and you play it. And I mean, I thought it was great. And it's not very expensive comparatively. I mean, it, it is and it isn't, but it's not that bad. So now I had pre-ordered it last year from GameStop because I want the purple one. Yes. You didn't have this pre-order. This was not on your radar. No. I, I heard about it through you and because I was interested in Earthworm Jim. But now that I've seen it, I'm like, this is perfect for my family. Because it's like, my parents can play it. They, even they're not gamers. You know, when my daughter gets a little bit older, she can play it. It's like perfect for that demographic. If I was just by myself, I probably wouldn't pick one up. Because I really, there's no point. But if you got right. one or two other people you want to play with, I mean, it's perfect for that. Now, about the leg, we were sitting about five feet from the table, give or take. We were further back the first time, too, and it was, like, fine. And you didn't interrupt any, you didn't get any interruptions no. from the controller. Because I didn't. Nope. Perfectly fine. No, no, no. And we had four players at one point, and it was still yeah. fine. Right. So. And people had cameras, yeah. people had cell phones, like. There was no interference with that thing, so I don't know what the controllers are. If they're Bluetooth or like IR or I, I don't know, whatever they are, but they, they were fine. So, so Jeff. Yeah. So I thought it, it, it was good. I mean, something simple that you know you could pick up, but uh, you know, and the uh, D-pad was, was pretty smooth. I mean, it's nice that it has like different directions on it. Um, and plus, it, it, it's good that you actually can play with your phone too if, if you want to. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, and, it, and uh, I like that the uh, Asteroids game we're playing, the, the space game was, was my favorite one, because it was kind of like an uh, Atari game, like Space Invaders or something. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's a nice throwback with, like, updated graphics. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's something nice, like, maybe I'll play it with my parents or something like that if I decide to pick it up. So, you know, it's a nice family game.
Now, you never heard of the console before we went today, right? No, I didn't. Okay. And what was your impression yeah. of it uh, when you played it? Yeah, I mean, at first, I mean, going into it, I already knew, you know, it wasn't going to compete with the Switch or anything like that. But, you know, but it was just, um, it, it was just a basic console. I mean, I was expecting it to, uh, to uh, kind of work more like a D-pad, but I get it because they're actually going with the classic look of the... The, the, the older system was, was like that, where they had the, the dial on it and everything. Right. So it, it makes sense. It's like an upgraded version of that system. Yeah. yeah. Well. That charades game was cool too. We didn't even talk about that. There was like an emoji charades game. Right. Like they had that too. Phone right. And that was like that awesome. game. I'm buying day one. Yeah, yeah. that's good. There's a lot of really fun party. This would be good too. Like even if you're older and you don't have a family, that's like a party system. Like you yeah, have people party over and stuff. That's what I'm saying. I don't think people understand something. In my opinion, this is the type of system, like you said, because I said it earlier, when you have people over your house and it's game night, you're yeah. going to break this machine out yeah. like it's a board game. Yeah. So instead of breaking out Monopoly, say, hey, you know what? Let's try the Amico. Yeah, right. Let's break that out and check it out. You're not going to be playing this thing every single day of your life. Yeah. You're not going to be streaming it for 60 hours. Yeah. So, I right. mean, it's just people got to get over that part, man. Yeah. This isn't that type of machine. And it's 250 boo-hoo. Big deal. Wait till it goes on clearance or don't buy it. Right. I'm yeah. buying it. It's been pre-ordered for a year on my end. This guy looks like he's going to buy it. Jeff is on the fence about it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, everyone take care. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good one. See ya. Take care, guys.